Hey guys. Hey, what's good? Daniel VP Alex, Charlie Brown, Kurt Steinwald. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm Kurt, also known as Kurt Steinwald, uh, aka uh, Starkstorm back in the days. AKA Bert Steinwald. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm actually from Vienna, but I live in Berlin now for like one and a half years. I was always into music and especially techno and acid music. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe I tell a little bit about how I got into DJing, which was basically when I was a teenager. My mixes found uh, their way into some club owners' hands, and then I got to DJ and I got to DJ more. And then I started doing my own events at the age of 16 or 17. What really got me into music like I do now is, I think, Jungle because Jungle was like my first thing where I really got like was listening to it 24 7. Uh, how I got to Sweet It High? Well, um, I met Charlie at Dimensions Festival and we had a good time, and then by coincidence, we both moved to Berlin at the same time and then we went skating and stuff. And then Charlie told me about like doing events here in Berlin. I was like, yeah, okay, I did events like all my, my, my teenage years and my, my 20s, so why don't do it in Berlin as well? And um, yeah, then we started Three Feet High Berlin. Right. I'm Charlie, uh, the DJ name Charlie Brown, and uh, um, yeah, I was born in Essex originally. Um, and <clears throat> I got into. I was. I started DJing when I was around sixteen, like at some small bars in, in Essex, and, and doing all that stuff um, for for quite a while. Playing mostly hip hop though. Yeah. Then I started working like record shops and doing all that kind of business. And then um, I'd say after that, I started working more in the industry and working with a lot more kind of electronic kind of sounds and kind of uh, skewed my path a little bit from hip hop into more of an electronic uh, world. It was, it was it, I'm a little bit older, so you know, it's, it's been a, a, a huge journey through, through DJing and uh, exploring music and stuff. And um, yeah, now I am living in Berlin, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was a strange story. And Three Feet High was a radio station on that on that on that on, on a radio show on that station. Um, so we started there really, just kind of again, just trying to express a rounded, uh, rounded approach to music. You know, uh, picking hopefully the best parts from a lot of different genres. We play like you know, start the show with some hip hop, go into like some boogie, some new. Uh, housey bits and a lot of grime, a lot of um, bits of techno. You know, I think I don't. I don't suppose it's singularly London, but certainly I think the electronic music scene has definitely kind of uh, crossed so many boundaries. It's almost a cliche now, you know. But I kind of wanted to just be able to bring that forward in a show. So that that's kind of why I attempted to do, and we did that for um, about a year and a half getting various different guest DJs to come and spin and do guest mixes and, and whatever uh, on that. So uh, following that, it was only that, that was my next approach was to possibly um, do an event off the back of it, you know, uh, it made sense. And um, 3 I was kind of born uh, off the back of that, so yeah. Brilliant, well, <clears throat> this is actually a, a really good chance for you guys to interact, interact with a tool which is very similar um, to your vision, uh, yeah. and Beats PM is uh, organizing this event for you guys, and uh, yeah. um, their vision is very similar to yours. Uh, they don't believe in, in genres uh, being uh, set apart from each other, and sure, then yeah. one event. And you guys believe in this, uh, you know, thing that uh, you can play various genres on one event. Yeah, and um, I think uh, is that is that why you guys decided to actually do this with, with Beats PM. I wouldn't necessarily say that 
<clears throat> it's about genres or anything, I would rather say that with all our um, connectivity we are, we, are, we are having now, um, it's just an, you know, another, another step which clubs have to take. Um, clubs worldwide. So just ballroom, for example. Of course, I mean that's that's just in the natural way it goes. So Fifty High is three cities, so that's uh, New York, London and, and Berlin. But that's that's the heart say of, of what we're doing. Um, so in London we're in Dalston, Hackney, um, in New York in Williamsburg, Brooklyn um, and in, in Berlin, Kreuzberg, and then the idea is to do a series of event edits rather uh, outside of those three cities um, and, and push that forward. So it just means that we can we can focus the our events, but also get to travel and and, uh, and, and take that concept and, and sound and just you know great road trips and. You know, and, and that, that's the thing. I think it's more about enjoying. We want, we want to, um, you know, go to cities and, and meet other promoters, meet other DJs, meet other producers, and, and work with them. And we're not, we're not there to just to take over the city. We're there to uh, be, get involved in the culture and, and, and in the, what's already happening. You know what I mean? And, and use that to, to, to push what we do forward. You know? So edits definitely be a big part of that. Say so, uh, over the next year, 2015. And, there on again. We gonna do this thing in Prague with again friends and family, then we're gonna do Barcelona and as Charlie said we're not gonna come to another city and be like the biggest promoters. We wanna meet the locals and get the vibe from the location and like the influences and that's all about three feet high is you know. It, it, you, you obviously <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, more wine, more wine. More wine. <laughs> Obviously, you guys are. I mean, uh, we're doing a podcast series and featuring artists we like, artists who, who support us. And it's not about booking the biggest DJs in the world, you know. I know mean, that's the other thing, you know. I think yeah. it's about just booking the right DJs and good people and the right attitudes, I think, is. is uh, the most important thing you know anyone can book pay you know 10k for the big, biggest djs in the world but i think you know we want people that, that get what we're doing and, and support it and support us and um i think that's the most important thing you know what can people in prague beats pm expect from you guys one hell of a night <laughs> <laughs> one night with steinwald <laughs> <Very stand -wise. laughs> the bird. Uh, um yeah yeah good vibes man you know like just just come bring don't bring your uh, don't bring your sad face you know bring your happy face and uh and um and your dancing shoes and um and lose your shoes and yeah yeah exactly <laughs> don't even bring your shoes actually just bring just come in barefoot you know Leave your shoes at home, actually. Leave your handbag at home too. Just bring yourself and um, and, and, and just yeah, be prepared to, um, to sweat it out a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no standing by the bar, by the bar. Yeah. Pretty much. Like there will be no seats in there. It'll just be <laughs> just be a dance floor. So um, and a cow prod. If you sit down, you get cow prodded. And, and, yeah. So make sure you're moving. <laughs> All right, brilliant. So you can see uh, Kurt Steinwald, Charlie Brown in Beats PM, 18th of October, starting 7 p.m. with the live stream going till early in the morning. Enjoy it, three feet high. <laughs>